Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 2. It is my work from home day, so I'm popping on a little bit later than I did yesterday. Getting a cup of tea. I'm brewing, um, if you saw my Instagram the other day, stash chocolate mint tea. That's decaf, which I'm not sure is the best idea today. I didn't get to bed as early as I wanted to yesterday. But I'm going with it, and tonight I will be in bed by 10 o'clock. It's a pipe dream. Um, and that means I'd have to edit this video by 9.30. But that's my goal. Let's see if I can do it. I hope you all had a good day, and are nice and cozy at the start of our morning. I'll be home today, like I said, so there'll be probably a little bit more for you to see over my lunch hour and all that good stuff. I'll check back in with you later. I just finished up work and took a few minutes to weave in ends on a few projects. I finished today my Hall of Prophecies socks and I was using my super simple toe up sock pattern. I think I said this yesterday, and I'm so silly. I was working, working, working on these, got to the second sock, started to do the cuff, and realized I forgot to use the mini I had wound up for these. So I was supposed to do a contrasting mini. I didn't use it, so I'll throw this in my leftover pile and I'll use it for something else. I have a good amount of yarn left, so I could use it. But I just wove in the ends on these, and then I wove in the ends on these, which I finished a little bit ago. A gift for Michael for Christmas. And now I have these two pairs of socks done. So I will block these. Um, all the ends are woven in. I will put away the leftover yarn. <coughs> Excuse me. And I wove in the ends for... Uh, this little bonnet. This is the beloved bonnet from Tin Can Knits that I made for my nephew who is getting um, baptized this weekend. My sister and I are godparents and so instead of buying a little bonnet I decided to make one. So I just emptied out those project bags that I had my stuff in. I'm going to put this back in my stash and I set up my bag with my cozy knitter socks. I haven't started yet, which is fine. I think I'm going to do them two at a time, but on separate needles. I don't feel like honestly doing the whole finicky. It just seems to take so much longer. It's so much less enjoyable to have them on the same needle. So I think I'm just going to keep two needles with two separate socks in that bag. And then every day or so, I'm not going to beat up on myself if I don't stay on top of it. I will do a stripe per day so some days I'll have to catch up and I'll do it on each sock and that is in my I think this is a um oh gosh gosh what's her Etsy shop this was a gift uh, for my sister so if do you remember nomadic knits that's what it is Ooh, nomadic knits and it is potions class Felix Felicis, Polyjuice. Um, I got that last year, two years ago maybe. <clears throat> For Christmas, I was originally going to put them in my Finch's nest, my new bag, but it's a little big, so I'm going to use this for another project. I'm going to cast on. Now that I've set this up, I'm going to go ahead and make some charms. <clears throat> I have to make for my Go More Girls Club. <laughs> Because I have to get this out tomorrow. Like I said, they're a little bit late. Um, but I'm going to get those out tonight. We're going to have leftovers for dinner. And then I'm just going to work on charms and packaging orders tonight. And I have to get up the listing for this month's, December's, Go More Girl Club. So I have to put that together too. Lots to do. Busy afternoon. Um already pitch black outside which makes it feel so late but it's only 525 
get going on that. Check in in a little bit. Day two of a super shitty December countdown. This one is Selfish Duplicitous Whore. These names are really wonderful. If you want to see these worked up, go check out Erin of Coast to Coast Yarn Co. She is making the most beautiful shawl. And I'm just going to place those up there so they can live together. Day two of Erin's countdown. We have Yucca Blossom. And look how beautiful it looks with day one. This is, I think this might have to be a garment with this MCN. And I love how all my minis are just going to gather on the mantle. closer to 9.30. I am um, in the middle of packaging orders to get all the Gilmore Girl Clubs out the door from November. Um, I was hoping to get them out tomorrow. I made the charms and I think they are so good. Uh, they're really awesome. I think at least. Um, but I need to let them cool fully. Before I put the final gloss on, I was rushing a little bit, and they're not, they took one of them that wasn't fully cooled, and I broke it. Um, so I'm going to wait and gloss them tomorrow, and then they'll go out in the mail on Saturday. Um, I worked a little bit on my socks, not too much. I just did one toe in an undyed have my sunfish base i'm not actually too worried about these because tomorrow at work i have a two and a half hour meeting that i can knit in uh the entire time <clears throat> and this is actually the only like stockinette whip i have at the moment um so i will save this for tomorrow where i'll do the second toe and then i'll do the first three stripes on each sock or as much of that as I can. 
I put this little hot cocoa charm on this one. This is from uh, Itty Bitty Delights. It's really sweet. Uh, and then the other one I put a little donut on. That is a sneak peek. It's not the Gilmore Girls Club, but it is a um, recent club. I'm trying to be mindful. There's a lot of yarn behind me everywhere. Make sure I'm not giving anything away. Um, but look at this. This is one of my favorite charms I think I've ever done. I went a different direction for this club. So <clears throat> usually I make something very literal and three-dimensional. But I decided to do a donut inspired by one of the pieces of like graphics in the inspiration photo for that colorway. Michael's playing video games, if you can hear him right here. Michael, say hi. What's up? It's Vlogmas, not Polo. Do you have anything to say to the people tonight on day two of Vlogmas? Play Halo Infinite. Do you want to drop your handle in case they play? They probably have children who play. What? What's your What's your handle? What's your name? Fresh Mike and Ike. Fresh Mike and Ike. All of you who play Xbox, Xbox <clears throat> you can play with them. Um, but I also wanted to show you my other whip that I have going at the moment. It's the only other one I have besides those socks. Um, it is a crochet blanket that I'm okay. actually making for Nanny. Um, she doesn't usually watch these, so that should be okay. And I'm using Bernat Home Mix. Which is a really cool yarn. I bought a bunch of this a long time ago. I used it to make my sister um, a housewarming present. She really loved it. So, and my mom loved it. It's going to make her one too, but not this year. Um, but this is a blanket so far. It's a granny, I keep saying granny square rectangle. It's technically a granny rectangle. Um, and the yarn, you can see it, the yarn... <clears throat> is like this mix of these four different on a rock, on a rock. There's like this textured one. Yep. You see him one right here, turn around. This smooth one, this like t shirt material, and then this fuzzy one. Language Michael. Oh, I say that like I don't curse on here. But that's what it looks like so far. I just started ball two of five, so hoping to get that done. In the next week or so, because I still have a cabled sweater to make for my mom. Per her request. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so I'm going to finish packaging up this yarn. I'm going to pull the socks out of the bath I put them in and throw them on my sock blockers. And then I'm going to eat some popcorn that Michael makes and watch an episode of In the Dark and put up this Vlogmas video. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow. I hope you had a wonderful day. Thursday. I couldn't remember what day it was. Um, happy Thursday and happy knitting.